Hello, this is KT. I wanted to share a quick video with you. Um, Laura Dennison, who is a great um, artist, scrapbook artist, mixed media artist, she recently um, created a round robin swap for journals for a lot of her followers. I believe it's over a hundred people in the U.S. and overseas that are participating in this round robin swap. I really really missed doing these um, journal swaps so the last time I think I participated in one on Your Paper Pantry was 2011. They do um, they have continued their journal swaps but they just do it per page and not per album so when Laura Dennison um, on one of her Ustream classes when she mentioned um, signing up for this swap I just said okay I'm just going to take the plunge and um, do it so the good thing is she was you know generous enough to give the PDF tutorial to create her um, her journal so basically we had to put together an album based on her instructions and um, we're also to send 12 um, 12 by 12 papers for the um, group participants. I believe we're broken up in groups of six. So the group participants will, you know, everyone does a section and um, using um, some of the papers that are included, you know, plus their own embellishments and papers. As long as a portion of the paper that you put in is used, it's, um, you know, create everything anything that you want based on the owner's um, theme. My theme is fall inspiration. Um, I debated about decorating the cover. Um, I just decided to put the paper on. Um, I put my little stamp down here with um, my initial and my website and um, I left everything else blank. I put a flower on there, but otherwise I'm going to complete the cover when I um, when I receive the journal back, the mini album back. So I put the instructions for my for my journal um, on the on a little insert. This is a paper from one of Marion Smith's. Uh, download kit and so I just um, printed it out put it in a, um, put it on cardstock and I have the um, the instructions and then I have a sign in page for everyone to start and mail out and um, I, I know I'd say I'm a lot I'm trying to stop that I used a ribbon with some magnets in it to close this up we'll see how long that lasts and then I did my insert when I was looking at Laura Dennison's um, I said it again <laughs> when I was looking at Laura Dennison's instructions I didn't read it right so my page is a little different than how Laura has her her page inserts but basically um, I did my page I added some journal spots in the left. I, I was sure to leave the back sides um, blank for right now until I get it back. And I I tried to put as many inserts as I could. Laura's original uh, plan design was just the page insert and then the card inside but because I kinda messed up how I put the page together I just had to wing it so I added two one I added one two three extra pockets three extra tags but um, the participants they get my book they definitely do not have to do what I did. I just want them to do whatever they want to do. 
the papers that I use for my insert are all by Cosmo Cricut except for Marion Smith's uh, paper uh, I'm a fall baby so I am inspired in the fall uh, by just the change in me in my age and things that I'm going to go through for the upcoming year this tag it, I believe is also Cosmo Cricut the lace on the end is graphic 45 then when you close it there's just a little flap I left this blank for now and then she wanted you to do the front and the back so my back side also has a pocket here and this one just says art inspires me I put a little prima flourish little picture of some art that I did last year left the back side blank to write some more stuff when my journal comes back to me my insert page one of the things that inspires me the most with my art is my son we travel a lot um, across the United States and overseas so this page just says the world is uh, amazing through his eyes and this was a recent picture that I took of my son using the long lens we were on South Street Seaport in Manhattan uh, I'm from New York so we go home a lot and I love to see every time I take him home with me his reactions as he gets older and how he um, views everything and this was just a picture of I don't know if you can really see it but this is just a picture of one of the boats or ships that he was looking at and so I just caught him from a distance looking at the ship and I just wondered you know what he was thinking about so for me that's my inspiration my art uh, the change in seasons my birthday my son and then the rest of the album is just blank per Laura's instructions I just um, put different color paper I use black green navy all of the tag inserts that everyone's going to be using I used I guess it's like a burgundy and it's six of us and the last thing and also what I want them to do I started this um, when we were at your paper pantry I like the idea of everyone putting a tag um, in the back and I think most of the women that do the round robin journals we all have tags in the back so the participants can take the tag fill out personal information decorate the tag any way they want and then put it back and then I just have a little tag me sign and a little pocket uh, and then that's it so I'm a little late because I really want to make sure that my journal was good you know I wanted to put as much time into it that I want them to put in and also I'm going to you know make sure I do a good job with everyone else's journal but I just want to share really quickly what I have going on so if you are hesitant about joining a round robin journal swap dive in do it and you'll be so surprised with the results that you get um, when the journal returns to you and it's, most of them last about two to three months anyway this is KT I'm signing off as always happy crafting